Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, I'm going to show you how to get all golds in the National B license in Gran Turismo 7. So let's go take a look. Okay, so real briefly, before I go into each of the license tests, I'm just gonna tell you a couple things about these runs. First, I did all of these with all of the assists turned off, and the reason I do that, in addition to the fact that I just enjoy it, is not only will it help you understand what you need to do in case you wanna get golds with all of your assists turned off, but it also helps you focus on what is most critical about actually the technical aspects of what will help you get gold here. So, um, as well as, I'm gonna put links to all the chapters in here so you can skip to whichever license tests you may be having an issue with uh, in case you're here just to try and get one or two of them done. And then also I am doing this for the B license test but you can definitely look forward to seeing me do this with all of the license tests as well as all of the missions that are in Gran Turismo as well. So as I go through those, I'll be getting them posted. So uh, if that's something you're looking forward to, be sure to check back here. So. No further ado, let's go ahead and get into the National B license tests. Okay, so the B1 license is a very simple accelerate and brake in the zone in a low powered car. You don't have to worry about the power in this car spinning the wheels, so you just absolutely floor it right out of the gate, accelerate full speed all the way up to the stopping zone. Now you pay attention on the right side of the track, there are foot markers that lead up to the stopping zone as well as cones. You want to brake hard right at the cones as hard as you can without locking up the tires and that should get you exactly what you need for the gold. So main things to keep in mind for this one, pretty simple, is just knowing the braking zone. Accelerate as hard as you can, brake as hard as you can, and know at which point you're going to start braking and you'll easily get the gold for this one. Okay, so the B2 license is very similar to the B1 license in that it's accelerating and braking, but you're in a GTO now, which is significantly more powerful. However, since it's four wheel drive, you still don't have to worry about wheel spin on the launch. So you can still accelerate full speed, absolutely floor the gas, uh, accelerate all the way up to the zone. And just like the B1 license, you will see cones on the side of the track and you want to start braking hard right as you pass that set of cones and that should be exactly what you need to stop in the zone. So again, if you're not using analog brakes, if you're doing this full manual, make sure you don't lock up the tires when you're braking hard, but knowing your braking zone is how you're gonna get gold in this one. The B3 license test is your first turn. Uh, this is another not very powerful car. So things to keep in mind for this one are that you don't need to use your brakes to navigate this turn. Um, you will need to modulate your throttle, but other than that, you don't want to touch your brakes. So coming off the line, you want to accelerate up into third gear and you want to stay in third gear throughout this. So don't downshift. Turn in gently, make sure you touch the apex of that turn. As you're coming through the turn and getting ready to accelerate out, you will need to lift on the throttle slightly, feather it a little bit. If you go flat out all the way through the turn, you will go off the track wide. So make sure as you're touching that apex, you come through, feather the throttle a little bit so that you don't push wide on the track and then accelerate full speed out through the exit. 
and you'll get the gold on this one. Okay, so for the B4 cornering test, you're gonna be in a more powerful car this time. And so you are actually gonna to need to use a little bit of brakes and some more throttle control to navigate this one properly. So as you come into the turn on this first one, you're gonna be accelerating up through third gear. Now, in order to get the time for gold, you can't, you can't lift into this turn. You have to actually tap on the brakes just a little bit so that you can keep your speed up higher coming into the turn, tap on the brakes a little bit, and then downshift into second so that you can accelerate faster towards the finish line. So for this one, again, like the last one, you wanna make sure that you touch the apex and don't go wide, but the real keys to focus on for this one are tapping the brakes as you turn into the corner, downshifting into second to accelerate out, and then accelerating through the end without too much wheel spin. So make sure that you focus on those aspects and it should be relatively simple to get this one. Make sure you know your turn in point for the corner, right? Don't overcook it. Don't turn in so hard that you break traction. Turn in gently, tap your brakes, downshift a second and accelerate out. For the B5 test, you're gonna be doing two corners. Um, this is another not very powerful car, um, but what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to on this one is your entry speed, your throttle modulation, as well as keeping your speed up through the turn. So what you're gonna do is accelerate up into third gear on this one and then turn in gently. You'll probably have to lift a little bit so that you don't run wide on the turn. Stay in third, don't downshift and then navigate the second turn and accelerate out using as much of the road as you can to keep your speed uh, at a maximum. So the keys to really focus on for this one are getting up into third gear, staying in third gear, not downshifting as you go into that first turn. Um, you're not gonna be using your brakes on this turn, so you're just gonna lift slightly off the gas to make sure you don't run wide, and then get back on the throttle smoothly, stay in third and accelerate through to the end. The B6 test is gonna be where it starts to get a little bit tricky just because the power of the Nissan is more than you've really had to deal with so far, especially when cornering. So you're gonna to have to make sure that you don't over accelerate, especially if you're not using traction control so that you don't break the tires uh, traction with the road. You're gonna to wanna to accelerate up into third gear. You're gonna to need to tap your brakes to come into that opening turn. Um, just lifting isn't gonna be quite enough with the speed that you're carrying. So you wanna come in in third and then stay in third gear throughout the rest of the course. Um, and 
make sure that you focus on your turn in angle on the first turn. So don't turn in too soon um, and don't turn in too late. So you wanna make sure you have a good turn in angle, tap your brakes a little bit so that you don't run wide and then stay in third and accelerate out, being careful not to gun the gas too much because with the power of this car, you can kick the back end out uh, if you're not using traction control. So um, points to really focus on here is accelerate to third gear, smooth turn in with some tap on the brakes, and then not over accelerating out so that you maintain good traction. The B7 license is also a little bit tricky, again, because of the power of this car. The important things to focus on in this one are, again, your braking, your traction, and your braking point is really critical on this one. So you're gonna accelerate uh, hard out of the gate, full speed, straight up into fifth gear. And then on the right-hand side of the road, you'll see a road sign for the upcoming turn right there. And then that's your point just there or right past it where you want to start braking, brake down into third gear, turn deep down into the corner, and then stay in third gear as you accelerate the rest of the way out of this turn. So the braking point is critical, and again, if you're not using assists, like I'm not using traction control or analog brakes, make sure that you're braking in as straight a line as you can so that you keep traction and maximum braking. So accelerate into fifth, when you see this sign up on the right, brake hard, down into third, turn deep down into this corner because you can actually even go further down in than those lines indicate. And then staying in third, accelerate smoothly out without braking traction. So points to really focus on here. Know your braking point at the sign, turn deep into the corner, stay in third gear as you accelerate out and be careful on the throttle so you don't brake traction. The B8 license test is actually a little bit tricky because of the braking point and the sharpness of the turn. So for this one, you're gonna really wanna make sure that you know where your braking point is as well as being smooth on your braking and turn in. So accelerate up uh, full speed up through here and you'll be in fourth gear. Now you see those markers on the right hand side, the 200, 150. You should brake hard at about the 75, I call it foot, 75 foot marker. I don't know if it's feet or yards. Um, so brake at about 75, uh, downshift into third for the turn, and then stay in third all the way through the line. It'll feel like you need to upshift right before you cross the line, but it will actually cost you time on that shift. So in between the 50 and the 100, right about the 75, brake, 
turn in, stay in third gear, or downshift to third gear, and then accelerate out, staying in third gear all the way through the line. The B9 test is again going to be a little bit technical and how you approach the corner. So what you're going to want to focus on in this one is keeping your speed up through the first part of the corner, uh, the first turn really, um, braking hard in a straight line for the second turn, and then accelerating smoothly out. So uh, accelerate up into fourth gear on the straight, stay in fourth gear and stay flat out through that first turn. You might have to lift slightly to keep from running wide, but if you pick a good entry angle, you should be able to run that first turn flat out, which is a big key to being able to get the gold on this test. So fourth gear, flat out through that first turn. You wanna brake hard in a straight line because otherwise, especially if you're not using analog brakes, uh, you can lose control of the car. So accelerate fourth gear, flat out, or as near to it as you can manage into this first turn, and then brake hard but only downshift into third. Downshift into third gear and then accelerate out. If you go down into second, the extra gear change will cost you about a tenth or two tenths of a second. So accelerate up into, uh, break down into third gear, stay in third gear and accelerate out. Don't upshift, stay in third gear through the line and you'll get the gold. And for the B10 test, the final license test for your national B license, it's gonna be a series of turns and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stitch together a good racing line in order to get the time on this. So um, starting out, you're gonna accelerate through the first little bend. Uh, there's gonna be two apexes you're gonna to wanna to touch while you're accelerating up through fourth gear. Um, make sure you touch both of those as you're getting speed. Once you touch that second apex, you want to break into the next turn, downshift into third, and take your time turning out of this. You're going to want to accelerate early, but be patient. You can go, I won't say slow through that, but let yourself go through it a little bit slower than you'd expect, um, and you'll be able to accelerate smoothly out and uh, then move into the next turn, which you'll want to tap the brakes when you come into that turn. So as we go through it here one more time, accelerate up into fourth gear, touch that first apex. Right after the second apex, brake, downshift into third, hug this turn as you slowly feather the throttle to accelerate out. Once you come through it, accelerate harder. Stay in third gear, tap your brakes as you turn into this turn so that you don't go wide. You don't have to get all the way out to the curb on this and then you can turn back in, accelerate up through fourth and to the finish line and that should be the gold for you. So the things to really pay attention to here are setting up the line in that first turn, hitting both those apexes, downshifting into third, not second, downshift into third, take your time through that turn, accelerate out, tap your brakes coming through the next turn and then accelerate out through the end. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so that should be everything that you need to get gold on your National B license tests. Uh, just for finishing with all bronze, you'll get this Clio Sport uh, as an unlock. But if you get all golds, it'll also give you the Mitsubishi GTO, which is a nice car to have, especially early in the game. Um, plus, it's just a fun car, especially going back to the Gran Turismo one and two days. It's a, kind of a favorite of mine. Um, so hope this will be everything that you need. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos for this for the other license tests. So look forward to the National A and the International licenses. Um, check back for that when you want to if you want to go through those get all golds and again keep in mind that all of this was done without assists on to give you the best insight into what it really takes to drive through this assists can make it a little bit easier but at the same time they can also limit you being able to control your shifts control your traction can be very powerful so i would encourage you especially in these early license tests challenge yourself stretch yourself try to turn off as many assists as you can get these golds and it'll make you a better driver overall see you in the next one